A tech company in California have recently developed an AI program which they've used to create a new psychedelic drug. How did they do this? Why did they do this? What happened when they tested this new drug on human subjects? And how do people feel about what could be described as the gentrification of psychedelics? I was reading about this in Wired this week and it's a company called Mind State Labs and their main aim is to uh, create psychedelics that have the sort of emotional effects or the spiritual effects, um, but without the classic trip. Uh, like for instance hallucinations. They're using AI to create these new drugs and they say the first compound that the AI has come up with has had promising results. So let's take a look at that. But first, why would you want to have a psychedelic that doesn't produce a classic trip? Psychedelics, advocates of their healing or their therapeutic properties are keen to dismantle half a century of the war on drugs hysteria, which has hampered research into this broad class of drugs. It's become clear that psilocybin, LSD, DMT, ayahuasca, especially when taken in a supportive setting coupled with talking therapy, have very real potential as tools to help treat some mental disorders. Psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, for instance, has been proven when administered in a clinical setting with supportive psychotherapy to reduce the symptoms of major depressive disorders. It's a similar story for things like OCD, addiction, PTSD. These drugs clearly have a massive benefit in that area. Having said that, nobody talks about the negatives of the psychedelic renaissance paradigm shift that's taken place over the past two decades from evil hippie drugs to these drugs could actually fix our broken minds or even our broken society. If you have a mental disorder like depression, you might have seen the studies, articles and podcasts telling you that psychedelics could help. What they don't tell you is that there is a small chance that psychedelics could make your problem worse. The truth is about psychedelics is that they can be unpredictable. Yes, in the right setting with the right guidance and support, psychedelics could help you with a mental disorder. They do tremendous things for some people and those people often understandably extol their virtues. However, for an often unacknowledged minority of users, these substances can result in adverse effects. This video is brought to you by Easy Test Kits, quick, reliable and affordable drug testing kits for all your favorite party prescriptions. They are presumptive testing kits that can give you a very good indication as to what is in your baggie. Remember, you can only make informed decisions when you've got a good idea of what you're dealing with. If you want to learn more or buy a testing kit yourself, Head to the description below and use my promo code SESH for a 10% discount. I spoke to Jules Evans, researcher and director of the Challenging Psychedelic Experience Project, and I asked him why we don't hear about the minority of people who have negative effects from taking psychedelics. Most research on psychedelics has happened in the last 20 years, he told me, during the psychedelic renaissance, and it's been funded by a handful of philanthropists and they tend to be very evangelical about the therapeutic and spiritual potential of these psychedelics. Evans co-authored a study, Extended Difficulties Following the Use of Psychedelic Drugs, which drew on a sample of 608 people who have reported long-lasting negative effects after taking psychedelics. The researchers followed up with questions about the experiences, what drugs were taken, in what doses, in what setting, and how challenging was the trip. The context in which the uh, participants took the psychedelics was detailed in this study. 2.8% said that it was in a clinical or a medical trial. 5.3% said that they'd taken them at a psychedelic therapy session and 6.4% on a psychedelic retreat. Another 9.4% took the dose at a rave, nightclub or a festival and 3% at a party. The most commonly reported category was emotional difficulties, with 26% of respondents reporting long-lasting anxiety or fear after using psychedelics. So we can see that in a minority of cases, the psychedelics could actually have a negative effect on people. They find it very overwhelming, perhaps related to the hallucinations. And that's where this tech company is coming in because they are trying to create the psychedelics without the hallucinations. They say that the hallucination effects of the psychedelics can be scary and overwhelming with dosing sessions lasting several hours. 
Good treatment is heavily reliant on the individual's mindset going into the session and by the environment in which they receive it. The CEO of MindState Design Labs, a guy called Dylan Donado, told Wired this week that they have created, quote, the least psychedelic psychedelic. The company was founded in 2021 and is backed by Y Combinator and the founders of OpenAI, Neuralink, Instacart, Coinbase, and Twitch. They've created an AI model that scrapes the internet for trip reports and they got 70,000 in total and they took them from Reddit, from the dark web and from psychological studies and elsewhere and they inputted that data into their AI models. Their AI analyzed how psychedelics produce different effects and that led to the development of this new drug, MSD001 an oral formulation of 5-MeO-MIPT. They shared their phase one trial results with Wired and they said that the study concluded that the drug was safe and well tolerated at five different doses in 47 healthy participants. It also produced psychoactive effects without inducing a mind-bending trip, which the company says is a validation of its AI platform. They say the participants reported heightened emotions, associative thinking, and enhanced imagination, as well as some perceptual effects such as colors looking brighter, but they did not experience hallucinations that you would uh, typically um, see it during a psychedelic trip. They tracked the participants' eye movement, they did some brain imaging scans, and they also asked the participants uh, questions to, to gather more data on the experience, like, are you happy, are you sad? In the conclusion, they reported that the onset of action uh, after consuming the drugs, the effect was felt about 30 minutes after, and the peak intensity was about an hour and a half to two hours after consumption, and they reported that there was no adverse effects. The trial took place in the Netherlands at the Center for Human Drug Research and they said that the participants were a mix of people who tried psychedelics before and others who hadn't. The approach of this tech company is that the so-called trip or the hallucination or um, whatever you want to call it is not, they believe, is not necessary to the therapeutic benefits of the drug. Um, but I would love to know what people actually think about this because you know, these drugs have been used for thousands of years um, and this is the sort of way a lot of people uh, that I've interviewed or I've spoken to say that the challenging aspects of a trip is the most beneficial part for self-development. And if you take away, that's why some people don't like using the word bad trip because when you have a so-called bad trip or a challenging experience, that's when people get the most out of it. Um, but is this sort of like a tech company coming in and trying to gentrify or trying to just profit off something that has been going on for thousands of years. Let me know what you think in the comments section. How do people feel in general about the patenting of psychedelics? And if its drug is uh, found to be successful in further trials, they would apply for a license. And that would involve jumping through all the hoops that are necessary to get the Food and Drug Administration to approve this as a medicine. Last year, the FDA refused to approve uh, MDMA because they had questions over its long-term efficacy. So MindState are probably quite far away from getting this uh, approved as a medicine. However, it is interesting to see which direction this could be going in. If you find these videos useful or interesting, please subscribe and click the bell notification to get the videos first.